What's up, peeps? My Vips here. Today I have a MTL kit, this little tiny kit to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Vandy Vape and designed by Alex Vapors MD. It is the BSKRS. What does the S stand for? I don't know. Steve? Steve, did you have something to do with this? No, I don't think I had this with Steve, no. No way. But yes, it's an MTL little tiny kit, 1100 milliamp hour battery. Comes with two coils. Comes with a mesh coil and a horizontal coil. Did I say horizontal? Horizontal coil. So, let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys the ins and outs of this whole kit. We'll come back. We'll vape on it. And I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the BS KR by Vandy Vape. And here's the packaging, the BSKRS kit by Alex Vapors MD and Vandy Vape comes in. And inside the sample packaging, I did get a user manual, a little warranty card, and a qualified certificate. They also provided me with this accessory box. And inside that box, I did get some extra O-rings, a micro USB charging cable, and two coils. And this coil here is the 1.5 ohm resistance coil. You can see it is a round wire horizontal coil. And the second coil provided is, is a 0.7 resistance M coil, which is a mesh coil. And here is the kit. So 22 millimeter, 1100 milliamp hour built-in battery. Let's unscrew the battery so you can see it. And this thing is tiny. It is a small little device. The bottom of it does say... Let's zoom in on that. Let's see if we could... Let's see. There we go. Right there. Inspired. Inspired by Alex Vapor. I'm not sure what they mean by inspired, but inspired by Alex Vapor's MD, manufactured by Vandy Vape. All right. We have our fire button there. And there's our 510. And the tank. All right. So the device itself, everything about it, even the device, it feels plastic feels plastic all of this feels plastic even the tank itself is a plastic well this one here they're calling it a uh it's a food grade psu material the only metal i see on this is right over here which would be on the bottom bskrs inspired by alex vapors md manufactured by vandy vape because serial number our gold plated 510 so we have our airflow controller here All right, so you're going to have six different holes here for airflow. So it starts off, the smallest one is going to be a 0 0.8, and then another 0 0.8, so you get two of them side by side. Then you get a 1.1 millimeter, 1.4 millimeter, and then two 1.8 millimeter openings. So you could start it off and do it this way, and have those two open, or just one, or all open, or cut it down gradually and have the two bigger ones open. So there's all different ways of doing it, all different combinations for this airflow. Looking on top, this is a one piece system. There is no removable drip tip on here. Even though this is a comfortable drip tip, we cannot change that. It is top fill. So you're simply just gonna unscrew like that. All right, so it's plastic screwing into plastic. And there is top of the tank and there's a little membrane here which opens up, let me grab this so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see there's a little membrane, so that's where you would fill from. It's also set up that way so there's no, by mistake, leaking. Or if, uh, uh, for children, I guess, if they open this up by mistake, no liquid comes out of it. So it's for safety measures that they did this. Sometimes what will happen here is when you do fill it, you'll have a little excess liquid on top, which I'll show you guys the one I've been using. You will get a little excess. Simply just wipe it off and... Put your cap back on. We'll unscrew the base. All right, and again, over here, now we're gonna have plastic. As you can see, there's plastic around the stainless steel. So it's gonna be plastic screwing into plastic. We do have an O-ring here to create the seal. And there's the actual tank section. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my coil. And this one here, I'm gonna use the 1.5 ohm coil because I'm using the other coil in my other device from them. So there you go. After I've done that, when this screws in, what happens is you have this rubber gasket right there, and that kind of makes pressure, pressure fit over this here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my liquid. I'm just going to drop one drop 
just like there we go did it, work? did it go through did i drop there we go get one drop in there so this way it'll give it a little like that see that it just fell right on top of the cotton there and the coil just to get it started off go in reverse first and then forward like that so this way you do get there you go perfect right now it's fully on stick that right through the membrane there and fill all right this does hold two mls of e-liquid and you can see that a little liquid stays on top but it's really no big deal in my opinion all right screw that top cap on and then you just put on the device and let it saturate give it a few minutes so that coil is fully saturated and here's the one I've been using. So I, from my uh, understanding, there's going to be four different colors. You got this white, the black. I think there's a blue and a red that they're coming out with. You got your fire button here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and that's going to power the device off. All right, press the fire button. Nothing happens. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Device comes on. You do have a light here. That's at your battery indicator. And purple is going to be up to a 70% charge. If you see a blue light, you're between 30 and 70%. And if you see a red light, you're going to be under 30%. So another feature we have with the device, we do have output modes. We have a, a direct output mode and we have a constant output mode on there, or voltage output. So what you do is your device has to be powered off. All right, so it's off right now. You're going to hold the fire button down. And you're going to see a red light come on. Now, when you see the red light come on, that's his direct output mode. Do it again. Going to hold it down. And you're going to see the color turn blue. So now that it's in blue, you're in constant output. So what that means is you're going to get a constant 3.7 uh, volts until the battery dies. In the red one, it's going to work more of a bypass mode. Like So you're going to get your top battery and it's going to start declining on you. All right, guys, and that was the BSKRS, also known as the Berserker S from Vandy Vape and Alex Vapors MD. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. Hey, there you have it, the up close BSKRS kit by Vandy Vape and Alex Vapors MD. Mike, please give us your thoughts. Straight to cons. First con's going to have to be obviously. It is a plastic setup, plastic tank. It's going to be have to be a con because of potential cross-threading, so be careful. Take your time, be patient when putting it together. Another possible con to some people is going to have to be no 510 drip tip on this. This is a comfortable drip tip that's on here, but yeah, you're going to have the people that are going to be like, oh, there's no 510, they're going to complain, so I could see that as being a con. That's it. I really don't have any other complaints with this. It does what it's supposed to do. Has beautiful airflow adjustments on here. The mesh coil performs awesome. In my opinion, the mesh coil is perfect. The device itself fires down to a 0.6 resistance. So you could use a device with another MTL setup if you want to. Which is going to be a pro. 1100 milliamp hour battery. Very nice for an MTL kit. That's going to have to be a pro. The paint quality on these are beautiful. It's going to have to be a pro. It's a comfortable device. It's going to have to be a pro. You got direct or regular output, constant output on here. Two different modes to choose from. What's going to have to be a pro? All in all, I think it's a nice mod. No rattling, no button rattle on both of them. Solid devices. Uh, size comparison next to a 60 ml bottle of e-liquid. So you get a basic idea on them. It's a tiny, stealthy little mod. This is going to cater to those people that don't want to use a pod system, that wants something that's a traditional style looking device. And this is where this one here is going to be the perfect option for those people. So how does it perform, Mike? How's the flavor? 0.7 mesh coil inside here, 12 milligram nicotine. Let's have a vape. Oh, I have uh, two of those uh, 0.8, I think they are, millimeters openings, the two smallest ones. Let's do it. Beautiful vape. It's a nice MTL vape. Inside here, I have a 40 milligram Nick Salt. Same airflow openings on both of them. Let's have a vape. Oh, and they're both on constant power.
Both coils perform perfect. I just like the mesh coil better in my opinion. I just like the way, I think it's the way the airflow goes through it. I just like it better for the mesh. But to some people, they might like the horizontal. That's the great thing about vaping. You have choices, options. You buy a kit like this, comes with two coils. You see which coil you like. And then you go and you purchase your spare coils in regards to what you like. You know, so all in all, I think they did a pretty good job with this. It's a nice little MTL starter kit or an MTL kit for people that that's what they do. MTL vaping, you know, and they want something different. There you go. The BSKRS, I hope I said it right, from Alex Vapors MD and Vandy Vape. Price on this, I'm not sure. Hasn't been released yet. Do your search, Google searches. I'm sure all the popular sites will have them in stock soon. Congratulations, Alex and, and whew, Vandy Vape. Yes, on the BSKRS in the description below. No links to none of these vape products because I'm not allowed. It's a YouTube policy. Just my links down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.